What is going on guys? This is Chase here. And today we're gonna be doing a video of the 2011 nine foot long in animated inflatable horse reaper. Um, I got this off of a good friend of mine. Uh, he originally bought this off of Yard Inflatables brand new in the box. And he just kept it like that for a while because this is still brand new. Um, he never used it so uh, he let me purchase it off him. I did not get this off the private seller. I'm pretty sure he might have had one, but I think th this one would have been cheaper. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this unboxed. Um, as I said, it's still brand new, so we'll be, we'll be cutting the tape on it. And, uh, yeah, let's get this inflated. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Um, I I'm really, really happy I finally have one of these. I paid about 160 bucks for it. Um, this is just This was just one of those inflatables that, like, if I did not have this one, my display would not be complete. So I'm super happy to finally have this one. As you guys can see, the box is sealed shut. It's a very heavy box too. It's about the same. I, it's actually, I think it would be heavier than the organ player, which is really surprising. Ah. There we go. I mean, and I never understood it. I don't understand how people can buy stuff and just like never use it. Like it's, I mean, it's really good for me because I love buying brand new stuff like this so we can get to unbox it for the first time. But I just never understood how people can just take stuff and never unbox it. So yeah, here's the face. It looks like it's a little scrunched up because I'll have to um, kind of mold it back maybe. It's just, I expected that with this thing being brand new. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this light out. Um, I don't know which way this is gonna be facing. i will probably do it this way. Uh, this has a YF-125 on it, I believe, either that or it's a 200. Um, I really hope it's a, a 200 because I, I know these things are, do not really inflate the best, or at least like the horses for some odd reason. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get this inflated. Uh, again, I'm really, really excited to finally have one of these things. So this will be inflated for the first time since it was tested back in Jemmy's factory. Okay. And for those of you guys that don't know, this one is animated. The uh, head turns on it, which is really, really cool. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so the sickle is facing you guys, if I can. Yeah, the thing came unplugged, dang it. Hold on. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it has a 125 because it's not really wanting to stand up. This inflates, it inflates um, fantastic. It's just, it's one of those things where they just never ever stand. So I'll probably have to get this steak down. Um, so guys, give me one minute and then I'll go ahead and get this adjusted. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and got this situated. This, that took forever. Um, now I did check inside um, the thing and unfortunately it does have a y YF-125 as opposed to a 200. But that's not even what's unfortunate about this. Um, it's not the inflation that's the problem that makes this not really want to stand. It is the fact that the legs are attached to each other. Now you guys might be thinking, you know, oh, that's, that's good. That's good what they did because it's going to give it more support. No. The legs need to be disattached from each other. They need to be their own thing so that each side can have its own support. But aside from that, I think I finally got it to stand up for this review. 
Um, I will definitely need to be staking this down for my display. There's there's no question asked. Um, but yeah, so I'll just go ahead and give you guys a whole walkthrough about this thing. Um, this thing is just, oh my God, this thing is amazing. Like, okay, the horse right here is about five and a half feet tall, maybe, maybe even six foot. And then the Reaper guy, it makes it eight feet tall. So that means this horse is this is literally the size of an actual per uh, of an actual horse. That guy is the size of an actual guy. Okay, he's 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 like he's about the size of me. It, this thing is insane. Like they they knew what they were doing when they made this one, and that's why I love this thing so much. As I said when I was saying it up. This is was this was just one of those ones where if I did not have it for my display, it just I, my display would not be complete. Um, as you guys can see, the the face kind of pretty much just flattened out um, as it inflated, um, so it looks like I won't really have to do anything to it. Yeah, the wind's starting to pick up, so it looks like I really won't have to do anything to it. I might try and you know flatten it out just to see if I can do anything else to it because you can see it's still a little crinkly, and the reason for that is these things guys these things are not meant to be brand new in the box uh for long periods of time these things are just meant like right when they make them right when they pump them out of the factory they're just meant to be inflated like maybe like a year later i don't remember uh, specifically how long it is but yeah so it looks like it's just gonna go ahead and fix itself um as you guys can see the head turns uh flawlessly which is great I know that there, I've seen some that have like a defect where they just brand new out of the box, they don't work, which for some reason, which is really weird. But uh, yeah, and another thing I wanna point out, as you guys can see, they were pretty much going for like a medieval type theme because it has the flags uh, like this. And they don't make a lot of medieval inflatables. I know like one of them they made, um, it was the 2008, I think it was 2008, like that, that giant castle that was sold at Sam's Club. Maybe it was Sam's Club, I don't, I don't remember, it might've been. But, and it has the flags on each side, which is really, really great. So you can display this on each side. It has great detail all around. But for my for my uh, display and for the sake of this video, I have the sickle facing this side so you guys can see it. And this might sound weird, but one of my favorite features this thing has is there's actually an arm right here that's holding on to it. That was like, it, it, it just, it's, it's so incredibly detailed with this one. Like this, it's just so amazing. Like I, I love it so much. And we'll see right here, there's the fan. Um, I don't know what's supposed to be attached here. There is something supposed to be attached here because it has like that stitch mark. So I'm not sure what was supposed to be attached there. And then if we go on the back, as you guys can see, the, 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 the cape or the robe go, pretty much goes all the way around. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it with this guy. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I sure did. This is just one, this is, uh, I will 100% be using this for my display, but I know it's gonna be a pain. And you guys can ask anyone that owns one of these horse inflatables, like a headless horseman one or something like that. They, they just do not stand with the fan they're given and just the dis the disproportional amount of weight on each side. I mean, this thing has a heavy animation motor on the top. Like, it's it's a great design. It's just not well thought out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want to see more reviews like this. I don't care what you really you guys say. I mean, I'll, I'll do them anyways. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.